Today we're going to be doing a bit of problem solving. First, let's read the comment where the problem is described. And as some of you know, I'm right in the middle of doing a playlist series for color adjust theming. And the video where the comment resides is the dynamic dark light theme programming JavaScript CSS DOM tutorial. So what I'm going to do is add this video to this same playlist because this problem Greg's having is related to this sort of programming where you're allowing your users to select a theme, a dark or light theme. So Greg says, hey Adam, so very good to have you back. Love it. Can I ask a question of you? In my system, I have a dark and light mode and I allow users to upload how-to guides to their staff. The issue I have, if they copy this from Word, let's say, and the text is already set to black or even white, it looks fine to them until another user comes along with the alternative theme who then can't see it. I've been racking my brains on what can be done about this. I removed allowing them to select black or white, but when they copy from Word, it brings the value across, and they have no idea a user in light mode is going to see an empty screen. Any ideas? So I replied and I said, I might have a solution for that and I'll re respond via video. Okay, Greg, there are several ways you can go about creating a solution to this problem you have. The first is, like you said, and another solution would be to give instructions to the authors of the how-to guides on how to strip the formatting of their text before they paste it into your forms, which will require that they do extra work and they may get turned off. So this is not ideal or advisable either. Now, another programmatic solution that wouldn't require them to do extra work would be you can use your server-side language to strip out unwanted formatting in the pasted text when the user, the author, submits the form. For instance, in PHP or whatever server-side language you're using, you can strip out some formatting and tags. Uh, I'm not sure what the formatting, how it would be in Word, but you can investigate what the raw text looks like in your database and then go about stripping that out using preg replace, strip tags, or one of those kind of functions. Now the second programmatic approach is to use client-side JavaScript to intercept and strip unwanted formatting when the author submits the form before it even gets to your server-side language. If you use JavaScript to intercept it, you can strip it out and make it plain text before it even hits your server-side language before it even goes in your database. Now the third approach, in which is I'm going to show you how to do this today, is to use client-side JavaScript to detect the colors of things, then adjust the text color to make sure that the reader does not get displayed a text color that matches the background color of the document or the element where the text displays. So we'll be checking to see the color of things before the page loads or before the document is fully loaded. That way we can check to see if it's a dark or black background. We can force the text to be a light colored text or white, whatever color you choose. And alternatively, if it's a white background, we can force the text to be black or dark colored. And the reason why I'm replying via video is so that others that might be facing this same similar situation could benefit from seeing and hearing the solutions. Okay, so what I've done is created a an example document that simulates the issue. So you can see I have a black background and there is black text, which the user can't see. But if I highlight it, I can see it. But if a user doesn't understand what's going on, they'll just think the page is empty. So here's the way I simulated that. I just have a body element and then there's a div where the article would be rendered. And then I just made the body black and I made the text, the color of the text black within that div. And another thing you could do is also since you have things in a database and you're rendering a page from database data, you can check what the author's theme is, whether they have a light or dark theme and then 
change the text color of your div accordingly to that which might even be a simpler solution so if you notice that the author has a theme of the dark theme then you can force the text to be white but they may have had the light theme when they were pasting in their text so that way the the approach that I'm about to show you might be a little bit better because they might be changing their themes back and forth from light to dark and you don't know exactly what they have pasted their article in under which theme at what time so what I'm about to show you might be the best solution I'm not sure you'll have to play with different approaches I guess to see what suits you best so the first thing you'll want to do is in your head element in your script element within your head element you'll want to set up a window load event handler or listener end handler so that's window add event listener load event and then we have an anonymous function here with fat arrow syntax this way the code within this won't run until all of the elements are loaded into the document and the documents ready to be scripted against then you will want to put in this line of code which is a variable named bg color and that's equal to window dot get computed style method on the element that you want to get the background color for so you don't have to get it just for the body you can get the computed style of the background color for any element that you specify here then you run get property value for the style value that you want to see and so in our case we're going to look for the background color or detect the background color then we'll put in the next line we'll just console.log that background color and see what we get so let's go to our example refresh and in the console we get RGB 000 which is equal to black and let's say in your dark theme you have not exactly black but maybe a dark gray almost black refresh and we'll have RGB 51 51 51 and it's still hard for the text to be seen there but it can be seen a little bit but you want to have access to this value for each theme so let's put this back to black for the example and even if there's not a color set here in the article container the text will still be black by default I believe yeah okay now all you have to do here is maybe put in some if else condition statements or switch break whatever kind of conditionals you want to use to say if BG color is equal to RGB whatever value that you want to detect for then you're going to change the article container style dot text color to whatever color you want it to be so we're going to change it to white in this case if the black background is detected so let's see if that works and we'll refresh there you go now the text is white so like I said in the beginning uh, there are many many different ways you can go about solving this problem but I think this approach might be the easiest on you and your users because if the user has chosen a dark theme and then they paste in text that's formatted white because depending on the theme they've chosen their text like you said might be white or it might be black formatted and then they could go ahead and change their theme to a different theme so in your database you might not know what theme that they submitted the form under so here's another solution for that you can record which theme in your how to article database table where you s store and take in the how to articles you can detect which theme that they're currently under and make that a new column in that table so it'll show that when they submitted the how-to article they were using your dark theme or your light theme and then you can just render the opposite text color 
or a suitable text color. When your page loads, your server-side language gets all the data for the how-to article. You can also request out that column that shows which theme they submitted it under. So that might be an even better solution for you in specific. But I don't know exactly what's going on in your system fully. So, And here's another little bit of code for anybody who might be interested. Uh, let's see, we have in your style, let's see if we can detect the style of my ID from the CSS. So let's change this to text color. And let's remove that and let's just say my ID dot style dot color. And then let's console dot log. Here, let's comment this out real quick, that condition statement. And then we'll just console.log the text color. You can also check for the body's color as well. But I don't think it's going to render in the console.log. Let's see what happens. Refresh. See, in the console.log, we get nothing. And that is because, or for a way to make that render like that, you would have to have use the style attribute in the element itself. So let's take this color out of here. And let's put it down here. Now we can detect, I believe, straight from the element. So if you had the style attribute in your body or the container where your how-to article is displaying, you can detect it that way using this simple code like this. Let's see if it works. Yep, see now we get the RGB because its attribute is down here now in the element instead of in the CSS up top. And then you can run conditions. Let's take, here, let's uncomment this now. Let's take the text color variable. Let's see, was it R, RGB 000? Yep, same thing. So this should work now the same as the way the other code worked. Yeah, so now we have white text again. So you can go multiple routes to getting that done, but you might not wanna have your colors established down here in the HTML's attributes. So that's why I showed the, the first bit of code first. That way your HTML can be clean. So you can detect for the color of the text, color of the background. So I hope that's helpful to you and let me know whether or not you solve the problem. I'm interested to know how it works out. Thanks a lot for interacting, Greg. Okay, and one last little bit of thoughts on this topic is for me personally, if I was up against this situation, I would seek to strip out any formatting when the user is submitting their article. I would look to use my either my server-side language or JavaScript to intercept the data, strip out, and make sure it's just plain text. That way, nothing from any third-party programs that they're pasting from would be brought into the database or the, the article. And that would probably be the best solution, is to seek and destroy before it even touches your database but you would first have to know what you are looking for in order to strip it out. And there's a lot of ways you could also just change a string, the string data that they submit to plain text. I believe JavaScript and PHP both can change strings to be plain text to remove any formatting that's in it. Some handy functions in PHP for removing unwanted substrings within a string would be string replace, preg replace, that way you can use regular expressions, strip tags, and a handy Google search term that you might want to check out is P 
PHP convert rich text to plain text. That way if it happens to be rich text that is causing the issue when the data is going into your database and then comes out for display, you can convert it to plain text before it even touches your database for storage. And if you'd rather have JavaScript intercept and manipulate the data before it goes into your database for storage, a handy search term would be JavaScript convert rich text to plain text. And you'll see all kinds of different examples on how to run regular expressions and string replacement methods over the data before it gets transferred to your server side part of your application. Because JavaScript has similar string replace methods. Not as robust as PHP, but you can get a lot of things replaced in the JavaScript using the replace method and regular expressions. You can also do something like create a temporary element that only allows plain text in it and then retrieve the text from that before it gets transferred to your server side. So if it's HTML type tags that uh, are causing the problem, PHP can strip those tags out. JavaScript can also strip those tags out. If it's rich text, they can all also be stripped using different functions and different methods. So as you can see, there's no shortage of approaches you can use to try to tackle the problem. You just have to pick and choose and decide which approach would make most sense for your specific scenario. Because there may be reasons why you want to keep the formatting and all of the rich text or HTML that might be hidden within their submitted article. You might have reasons for preserving that and keeping it and you can also do things like uh, change their formatting that they're putting in to your preferred formatting. But that gets more and more complicated. All right, so I hope at least one of those suggestions helped. And uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks a lot, buddy. Talk to you soon.